This video is a quick tutorial on how to use StruckCalc, the most intuitive structural program in the building design industry. We hope to show you that StruckCalc has essentially no learning curve, as you can be designing projects in a very short amount of time. You'll find that you can design most structural members in less than a minute. I will begin using StruckCalc by creating a project. Simply click New Project from the File menu, give that project a name, and you can save the project in using the default StruckCalc library or put it in a folder already created for your particular project. First I will show you all the materials you can use when designing with StruckCalc. StruckCalc has all the different solid saw materials that are available in the NDS manual along with their corresponding grades. StruckCalc also has all the different stress grades for glue lamp materials it has structural composites from all the main manufacturers in the United States, along with their different stress grades. In conjunction with all these structural composites, Struckhawk also has all the eye joists that are provided by these manufacturers. You can also design projects using steel members, including all these different shapes available in the AISC manual. You can also design members using tube steel, including rectangular, round, and square shapes. I will now give you a quick tour of all the 15 modules that are included in StruckCalc. The first module is for footings where you can design square, continuous, rectangular, and round footings. The next three modules are what I would consider the most standard designs of StruckCalc which are the simple span beam members. I will first open up the uniformly loaded floor beam module. As you can see, the inputs are easy to use as all you need to do is put in the tributary widths of loadings on the beams, which are typically one half the joist spans. Struckhawk will then compute the uniform loads on these beams to get you a quick solution. On this beam span, you can add up to three separate point loads. You'll notice there are blue hyperlinks at each of these point loads where you can bring in reactions from other structural members using our exciting new feature in Struckhawk called Load Tracker. To give a quick demonstration of Load Tracker, click the hyperlink. As you can see, it will open up all the previously designed members in your project. Simply click the structural member you want, pick the reaction you want to transfer, and it will load that member reaction in your analysis. Put in its location, and as you can see, it has been loaded onto the beam span. There are more in-depth videos on how to use Load Tracker on our website. Before I show you these other modules, I will show you a valuable feature in StruckCalc, which is Auto Size. Using a previously loaded floor beam, I can select Auto Size, select the grade I want, which is number one Douglas fir, click the sizer box, and you will get a quick solution on that beam size requirement. Since the solid saw option is too large and not readily available, I can check what would be required for a glue lamp beam. Click the sizer box, and these designs meet the criteria. Also for structural composites, these sections will work. And for steel beams, I can select a range of depth and find that these sizes will work. Select the member you want to use, and that information will be put on your design screen. We can save the analysis by clicking this disk icon. The third module is the roof beam module. It works much the same as the floor beam module, as all you have to do is put in the rafter or truss tributary widths. Struckhawk will make all the appropriate adjustments in its calculations for the roof pitch. The fourth module is our combination roof and floor beam module, which allows you to design beams with both roof and floor loads. The fifth module is a multi-span, multi-loaded beam module. In this module, you can design beams of up to three spans, including cantilevers. On each span, you can manually put in up to six point loads, a uniform load, and up to four trapezoid or partially distributed uniform loads. As you can see, each of these point load input boxes have blue hyperlinks for load tracker. There's also a hyperlink for uniform loads, as well as each of the four partially distributed uniform loads. These enable you to quickly transfer joist and rafter loads using Load Tracker. 
The next three modules are for multi-span floor beams, multi-span roof beams, and multi-span beams with combination of roof and floor loads. The input boxes for these modules are similar to the simple span beam modules. You can also see the blue hyperlinks available for load tracker for each of these point loads. The next icon is for our floor joist module, which allows you to quickly design floor joists of up to three spans, including cantilevers. Hyperlinks are also available should you wish to transfer loads from walls bearing on these joists. The next icon is the roof rafter module, which allows you to design rafters consisting of one span plus an eave, two spans plus an eave, a single span with two eaves, or a rafter consisting of three spans. The eleventh icon is our column module and enables you to design standard columns, cantilevered columns, and embedded posts including ones for non-constrained and constrained base conditions. There are also input boxes available for lateral loads. The next icon is for hip beam design, enabling you to quickly design hip or valley beams. There is also an option to design a hip beam which that may have an intermediate support location, as well as intermediate support walls that may help reduce the beam's design requirements. The thirteenth icon is for collar ties, and enables you to determine the rafter and ceiling tie requirements for your projects. The fourteenth icon represents our newly created wall module which allows you to quickly design walls that may be subjected to vertical and lateral loads. You can design walls with a single level of loading, two levels of loading, and three levels of loading. The input boxes for this module are similar to the beam modules where you can put in tributary widths. There is also a hyperlink available should you wish to transfer loads from previously designed joists and rafters using Load Tracker. This wall module is a great tool in which you can use load tracker to design continuous footings, as well as joists that may be supporting wall loads. The last module is our framing module, which allows you to quickly and accurately design the dead loads of your projects and use them as your default inputs for your design. We hope this video has been helpful to get you started in this very powerful structural tool. There are additional videos that are more in depth on our website as well as on our YouTube channel called StruckCalc Online. If you have any questions regarding StruckCalc, call our toll-free number at 1-800-279-1353. Thank you for your time.